Today, we'll be exploring the Gulf Railway, also known as the Gulf Cooperation Council GCC Railway, which aims to connect all six Gulf Cooperation Council member states in Eastern Arabia. So, buckle up and join me on this exciting journey. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's vlog, we're diving into a fascinating infrastructure project that has the potential to transform travel and trade in the Gulf region. The Gulf Railway is an ambitious plan to create a railway network spanning 2,177 kilometers, with an estimated cost of a whopping $250 billion. This project was approved by the GCC member states back in 2009, and it was initially scheduled to be completed by 2025. However, as of 2023, construction work has yet to commence, leading to some uncertainty about the project's timeline. One of the unique aspects of the Gulf Railway project is that each of the GCC member states is responsible for implementing the portion of the railway that lies within its territory. This means that each country will construct its own railway lines, stations, and freight terminals. The cost of the project will be shared among the countries based on the length of the rail network within each nation. To give you an idea of the financial commitment involved, the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia are expected to spend the most on the project, followed by Oman, Qatar, Kuwait, and Bahrain. In Saudi Arabia, the Saudi Railway Company will develop the network, while the UAE will be handled by Etihad Rail, Oman by Oman Rail, and Qatar by Qatar Rail. Despite the project's immense potential, it has faced numerous hurdles along the way. The financing challenges, aggravated by volatile oil prices, have been a major obstacle. Additionally, the interests of the six GCC states have not always aligned, further complicating the project's progress. These factors have contributed to the lack of clarity regarding the exact scale and operating model of the venture. At its core, the Gulf Railway project aims to foster greater integration and connectivity among the GCC member states. During the 30th GCC summit in Kuwait City in 2009, the leaders recognized the importance of enhancing transportation links within the region and approved the railway project. At that time, only Saudi Arabia had an existing railway infrastructure. Let's take a closer look at the progress made by individual countries. In November 2015, implementation of the GCC railway began in Oman and the UAE, with Saudi Arabia following suit shortly thereafter. However, Qatar's plans were put on hold, and the UAE's Etihad Rail suspended the tendering process for Phase 2 of its railway project including its portion of the Gulf Railway. Despite these setbacks, there is still hope for the completion of the project. Many experts believe that the delays are primarily due to the lack of clarity surrounding Saudi Arabia's commitment to building its portion of the network. Without Saudi Arabia's involvement, other countries have been hesitant to proceed. However, there is optimism that once the Saudi portion is underway, progress will accelerate. It's worth noting that the Gulf Railway project is not just about passenger travel but also about boosting trade within the GCC. By providing efficient freight transport services, the railway has the potential to significantly enhance intra-GCC trade. This development could have far-reaching economic benefits for the entire region. The proposed railway will start in Kuwait City and pass through major cities such as Dammam and Al Batha Port in Saudi Arabia, Abu Dhabi, Al Ain, and Muscat in the UAE and Oman, respectively. From Dammam, branches will extend to Bahrain through the proposed King Hamid Causeway, and to Qatar via Salwa Port. Additional connectivity will be provided by the proposed Qatar Bahrain Causeway between the two countries. One interesting aspect of the project is the inclusion of three stations in Bahrain. The first station will be located at Khalifa bin Salman Port, 
followed by stations at the Bahrain International Airport and Amwaj Islands. From Amwaj, the railway line will head towards Qatar, further enhancing connectivity in the region. Despite the grand vision for the Gulf Railway, there is currently no established authority overseeing the entire project. Each country is independently carrying out rail projects within its territory, which has added complexity to the coordination and implementation process. The Gulf Railway project holds great promise for facilitating free movement among GCC nationals. With visa-free entry to each other's countries, the railway would provide unhindered travel from Kuwait to Oman, promoting greater integration and closer ties among the member states. One of the significant advantages of the Gulf Railway is its potential to create thousands of jobs. Once operational, the project is expected to generate more than 80,000 direct and indirect employment opportunities. This could have a positive impact on the region's economy and local communities. The choice of using diesel locomotives for the Gulf Railway brings its own set of advantages. Passenger trains are planned to operate at a speed of 220 km per hour, ensuring swift and comfortable travel for commuters. Freight trains, on the other hand, will be limited to speeds of 80 to 120 km per hour, ensuring the safe and efficient transport of goods. Despite the challenges faced by the project, there have been some positive developments along the way. In November 2018, the UAE Ministry of Finance and the Abu Dhabi Department of Finance signed an agreement to fund Phase 2 of the UAE's rail network which includes a 605-kilometer line from Guayfat on the Saudi border to Fujairah. The Gulf Railway project has the potential to transform the region's transportation landscape and open up new opportunities for trade, tourism, and economic growth. It is a testament to the ambitious vision of the GCC member states to create a more connected and prosperous region. The completion of the Gulf Railway project is eagerly anticipated, not only by the member states but also by the wider international community. This transportation network has the potential to become an iconic symbol of cooperation and integration in the Gulf region. As we eagerly wait for construction to begin and the Gulf Railway to take shape, it's important to remember that large-scale infrastructure projects like this often face challenges and delays. Patience and a long-term perspective are key in realizing such ambitious initiatives. While the original completion date of 2025 may seem optimistic given the current status of the project, experts believe that the Gulf Railway will eventually become a reality. The most likely completion date is estimated to be around 2030, providing ample time for the member states to overcome the existing hurdles. That concludes our exploration of the Gulf Railway Project, a monumental endeavor that aims to connect the GCC member states through an extensive railway network. Despite the challenges faced along the way, the potential benefits for travel, trade, and economic growth make this an undertaking worth pursuing. Let's keep an eye on the progress and hope to witness the transformation of the Gulf region through this remarkable infrastructure project. What's your opinion about this upcoming project? Leave your thoughts and comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.